Have you ever looked for a free domain to host your projects? I'll show you immediately how to get one. Here we are. If you want to buy a free domain, you have to go on www.dot.tk. So the name of the website is www.tk. And on this website, as you can see, there's nothing else than an image and an input text field where you have to enter the name of the domain you want to uh, not buy, but just get because it's free. You need to keep in mind that you can just have a domain with four specific extensions that we'll see in a minute. So let's get a domain. So I have to think about it, but I can do something like uh, uh, Lorne Angular, Lorne Angular dot TK and it's free. So I, I'm going to buy it uh, again. I'm not buying that. It's free. So as you can see, we have uh, five different domains actually that we can take. One is .tk, the other one is .ml, .ga, .cf, and .gq. So I said four earlier, but there's actually five of them. So let's check out. That's the only thing I have to do. And we are taken to the actual owner of uh, .tk, uh, www.tk, that is freenom. So Freenom is the actual provider of those free domains that I mentioned earlier. If you visit uh, www.freenom.com, so you can start the same identical search that I did. Now it's localized in Italian, but this is the same actual input chat box. I can do Lorne Angular and click on verify and they have the same identical screen that we saw on www.tk. So no worries about that. Once you have selected the domain of your choice, the thing you have to do is decide how to use it. You don't have that many options, you know, it's a free domain. You can either click on forward this domain and you will have to decide where you want to forward it. For example, I want to go on www.webyourmind.com slash angular. And if I do that, this will mean that when somebody visits lornangularjs.tk, it will be redirected to www.webyourmind slash angular. Otherwise, you can use a DNS. This option is valid if you have an hosting already, so either a free hosting or a, another hosting uh, uh, that you paid for. Uh, in this specific field, you have to enter the IP address for the hosting domain. And you can find it on either your cPanel or on, on your uh, uh, hosting website account. People that will visit learnangularjs.tk will end up uh, uh, seeing the content that you have on your private hosting. So I'll click on continue uh, and then decide to keep the learnangularjs.tk for 12 months because I can select only up to 12 months for free. You can also, we also have a, a domain that uh, expires after a month for some CEO promotion, for example. And I guess that I can select uh, three months for the scope of this tutorial, you know? So I need to enter an IP address. Considering I'm not going to complete the purchase of this uh, specific domain, I'll just put a random one, okay? 16811. So, Afterwards, we can click on continue and we'll end up at the checkout screen. As you can see, we have to pay exactly 0, 0.00 pounds, guys. Now, uh, for I won't complete the, the purchase, as I said, but you guys can select whatever domain you want and complete the purchase and make sure to either use the redirect functionality or to enter the DNS details from your hosting account. Before closing this tutorial, I want to give you one last hint. So we just bought, uh, well, I simulated the purchase. We bought our first uh, free domain, but now we need an hosting. You can see Stefano's video about the setup and you'll see in the next video how to buy it. But just to give you an hint, why don't you take a look at www.hostinger.co.uk. So again, it's hostinger. 
And in the landing page, you can immediately see that you can buy a free website. So if we click on Get Started, you'll be able to see in the first column all the details about the free hosting that you get. And I can guarantee you that after you buy that, you will have a cPanel, see Stefano's tutorial, as I said, you'll find the link in the description. And you'll be able as well to get the DNS data, the IP data that you need to put during the purchase of your .tk domain. So you'll be able to point your new .tk domain to a free hosting and uh, you'll have everything you need to work on your new project and especially show it because it will be live on your website. Here we are. I hope you like the, the video and you probably are already registering your first .tk domain. If you like the video, please leave a comment below and subscribe to our channel and see you next time.